Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar and this lesson here is for an instrumental by Pee Wee Creighton called Bounce Pee Wee. This is one of my all-time favorites. I started doing a lesson on this and then realized I didn't know what he was playing in, in certain parts of it so I went back and studied it again and I recently had a request for this instrumental and this goes along with the three lessons that I just finished on Pee Wee Creighton's playing and here's an example of his one of his entire instrumentals. I'm going to go through it note for note as much as I can in a few places where I'm not sure exactly what he's playing I'll kind of give you the ideas that I have and then on the tablature that I have uh, linked below in my lesson I do the best I can to decipher it note for note. To do the lessons it's really hard to remember all the things note for note and so I'm really working more now to, to show you the ideas. When I can I'll, I'll show you things note for note if I can remember. Bounce Pee Wee starts out, it's in the key of G. And it starts out with this D seventh type chord. It goes like this, this little chord introduction, which is really cool. And that is what I call a Freddie King chord or an Earl Hooker chord. This chord, Freddie King's Hideaway, you hear. And that's where most guitar players first heard that song, or that chord. To play it in D, it starts out with this D. And I've got my first finger on the 7th fret of the 1st and 2nd strings. My pinky is on the 10th fret of the 1st string. My 2nd finger is on the 9th fret of the 3rd string. And my ring finger is on the 10th uh, fret of the 4th string. And he does something like this. Just bouncing back and forth with that chord between that and what would be an E flat 7. using the 5th fret of the 5th string, which is a D, to play that. Instead of playing a chord, he's just playing the one note to lead into the first verse of the song. Once he gets into the first verse, the first two verses, he used this, uses this boogie pattern in G, something like this. twice and really what I'm doing if you haven't watched my Pee Wee Creighton lesson on bass rhythm starting on the third fret of the sixth string which is a G going to the seventh sixth and seventh frets of the sixth string fifth fret of the fifth string to the seventh fret of the fifth string and back that's the pattern he gets ready to go back to the one he's going to get the open third string which is really cool so he starts out right there and then to the five fifth fret of the fifth string exactly how he gets after he hits the open how he transitions back into that I think it's something like this there it is right there so the first two verses the piano is playing and Pee Wee's just playing the, the bass the first solo verse he leads into it with this lick which is a typical Pee Wee Creighton lead in instead of doing this, like a lot of electric blues guys go. Sounds to me like he's sliding from the second to the fourth string, or fourth fret on the third string, and then getting the third fret of the second string and the third fret of the first string. Then he does this. And he's doing one, two, three on the third fret of the first string, and 
and then five, four, three, a little chromatic run on the second string, second, yeah, second string, five, four, three. And here's a little thing Pee Wee does a lot. It's a lot like a Charlie Christian, like fifth fret of the third string, three, four on the third string, to the third fret of the second string. And then back three, four on the third string, third fret of the second string, and then winds that up on the fifth fret of the fourth string. So the whole first part of the, of the first verse. Then he does third fret of the second string, two, three on the first string, and then repeats. But this time, instead of doing, he just does third fret, fourth fret, third string, fourth, fifth fret of the fourth string. So the whole first part so far. And then to go into the five, he's going to get the third fret of the second string and then four, five on the third string, a first string. goes to the five, he's going to do this. At least that's what I'm, I'm hearing. So he's going to get the third fret of the second string, four, five on the first string, and then back to the third fret of the second string, six, three on the first string. 6-3 on the second string, 3-4 on the third string, 3rd fret of the third, second string, comes back to the 5th fret of the 4th string, and it sounds to me like he's getting the 4th fret of the 3rd string, and then sliding it down. So the whole thing... So let's try to play the whole first verse through real slow. And that's what I think he's doing for the first verse. Now the, the second verse. He starts out with this hop. Which is a typical Pee Wee Creighton type thing. So he's bending on the fifth fret of the third string with his first finger on the second string third fret. And he does this lick, which he does a lot. So he bends up. Brings it down. Back and forth between the fifth and the third on the third string. Winding up on the third fret of the second string. So that whole first part. And then he goes into this lick over the ninth chord. So the four chord is a C. Ninth, and it sounds to me like he's starting on the second fret of the fourth string. And he's playing some kind of pattern. It sounds to me like he's using his right hand palm and muting it just a little bit. 
something like that. second instrumental verse. He starts out with this typical Pee Wee Creighton hop. And what he's doing is bouncing, bending the third string at the fifth fret with his second and third fingers, with his first finger anchored on the third fret of the second string. fret of the second string. So the whole thing. And then he does this lick over the ninth chord, the C9. And that's what I'm hearing. Like this, starting on the second fret of the fourth string to the fifth fret, then three, five, on the third string. Then three on the second string to the fifth fret of the third string. And then five, three on the second string, fifth fret of the th uh, third string, winding up or ending up that lick on the third fret of the third string. So the whole thing. And it sounds to me like he's also muting this somehow with his right hand palm. And so that lick, he's just playing over that chord. That's a Charlie Christian type idea that you hear Pee Wee Creighton use in a number of his tunes. And then from there, he's going to do this. So he's going to go to the sixth fret of the first string, first string, third fret of the first string, third fret of the second string, fifth fret of the third string. 3-4 on the 3rd string, 3rd fret of the 2nd string. And he 
he's going to go right into, the, into this. Sounds like he's getting a little scrape. Both the first and second strings, the third fret. And then six, five, three on the second string. And he winds up with something like that. And this bending up just a little bit on the third fret of the third string. string and the fifth fret of the fourth string. So that whole last part and that is what I'm hearing in the, the second verse of the song. So let's try to play that one all the way through slowly. So now we've got the introduction, the chord intro, first two boogie verses, and then we've got the two, first two solo verses. Come back in just a minute and we'll go into the next verse. He's going to start out with this lick, just picking on the 6th fret of the 1st string with his 3rd finger on the 3rd fret of the 1st string. He does this for the first part in sets of 4, so with each beat. And then he goes. That lick is from the 6th fret of the 1st string to the 3rd fret. 1st string to the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. So he's doing that. So that whole 1st part. That little lick again. And then he does this. One, two, three on the third fret of the second string to the sixth fret of the second string, three of the first string, five, three on the first string, back to the sixth fret of the second string to the third fret of the second string. So that whole little transition lick. Then he does this. And this is a really cool lick. So he's going five, three on the first string, and then open third string, and then five, three on the second string, and then two, like it's hard to tell how much he's bending, maybe just bending once, something like that. So that whole lick. it up. One of these typical peewee crate and lick. So let me go back. Whoops. I think that's it right there. Check the tab and listen to it. And that is the the next verse. So let's try to play that one through one more time, all the way. And then that leads 
leads us in to the next verse. The next verse of the song, he's going to do this, this rhythm pattern, melodic pattern. It goes like this. He's going to do this uh, rhythmic pattern to, to really fill out the, the verse. He does this. Let me play it for you, the first part of it. So that's the first part. So he's doing. So he's starting on the third fret of the first string. And he's going to do a little bend on the 6th fret of the 2nd string, keeping that 1st finger anchored on the 3rd fret of the 1st string. One bend, and then 6, 3 on the 2nd string. That's 5, 3 on the 3rd string, 5th fret of the 4th string. That's what I'm hearing. Then the next part... He's sliding from the third to the fifth on the second string twice to the third fret of the second string, then to the fifth fret of the fourth string, and climbing three four on the third string, three five on the second string. Does that twice, and then he's doing something. It sounds like he starts on the third fret of the second string. And then bends on the third, fifth fret of the second string, gets the first string at the third fret, and then the third fret of the second string. And then he's going to go to the same lick that we used last verse. And he does this to wrap it up. So this lick. that sixth string at the or first string at the sixth fret holding it a little bit and then third fret of the first string third fret of the second string and that leads us into the next verse let's try to play that one time all the way through Exactly right, but in the ballpark. As he gets into the next verse of Bounce P, where he goes into a, a chord thing just for a little bit, he's going to go to to the 12th fret, and it's mostly on the 2nd and 3rd strings. It's really an E or an A9. He's not playing the A9. He's not playing that. He's playing that. And it's really loud with a little distortion on it, which makes it sound cool. So he's playing twice. Coming from either the 10th fret or the 11th fret into that. Then he's going to very quickly pick it, strum it, and slide it to the 10th fret, which is a G. 
ninth. Again, he's not playing the ninth. It's more like a G major. So that whole thing, he comes from the last verse. Then he comes back down here and slides into a C ninth from a, from a D flat ninth. Second position, ninth chord shape. Sounds to me like he's playing the ninth on that one. So the whole thing. And then it's something like. First, he goes into a little chord riff before he continues with the single string stuff. And he starts out, let's take it from the end of the previous verse. So what he's going to do is go to what should be, or looks like an A9, but he's not playing the 9. It's more like a, a G. Second position, G bar chord. So he's sliding into the 12th fret, mostly on the second and third string. You can hear a little bit of the first string or the third string in there. And he does. Sliding from the 12th to the 10th. Quick slide. Then he goes from the e, D flat ninth to the C ninth. And there I think he's playing the ninth chord. And he does something like this. And I got this part, note for note. Sixth fret of the first string. And he's going to do this quick kind of a hammer on between this sixth fret of the first string and the fifth fret. Third fret of the first string, 
fifth fret of the second string. And then he does something which I really can't figure out. So the whole thing. He does something in here. Which I really can't figure out note for note. I'll try to get it on the tab. But he ends up with this. Where he's bouncing back and forth between the fourth fret of the third string and the fifth fret. To the third fret of the second string. it up with another one of those. One of those things. So that is the next verse of Bounce Pee Wee. And again, that little, so that first part, something like that. Maybe that's it. That's how he wraps up that verse. With that, another one of those slides. Get them all mixed up. You could play these interchangeably and mix up what you're doing. But to get it note for note, I think that's what he's doing. He's going to do something really cool. He's going to do these slides. He's going to slide. Sounds like maybe as far as from the third fret of the third string to the seventh fret. And then tenth fret of the first string to the seventh fret. And he's going to do this little leg. First position blues box, third fret of the first string, fifth fret of the second string, three four on the third string, and then twice on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and then a hammer on. Sounds like could be just the one string, three to four on the third string, or he could be getting a little double stop with his first finger on the third fret, second and third string. Hammering on to the third fret or the fourth fret of the third string and getting the second string too. So that whole first lick. And then he does it again. But when he slides, he's going to slide it back to the sixth fret instead of the seventh fret when he goes over the four. And he's sliding it. So if you use your pinky or whatever finger you use, He's going to get on the 6th fret, so then that same leg, and then one of these, third fret of the second string, 4-5 on the first string, and then back to the third fret of the second string, 6-3 on the first string, 6-3 on the second string, 3-4 on the third string, third fret of the third, second string, 
comes back to the fifth fret of the fourth string. And it sounds to me like he's getting the fourth fret of the third string and then sliding it down. So the whole thing. And so let's try to play the whole first verse through real slow. The second instrumental verse, he starts out with this typical Pee Wee Creighton hop. And what he's doing is bouncing, bending the third string at the fifth fret with his second and third fingers, with his first finger anchored on the third fret of the second string. Then he's going to bend. Bring it back down, 5, 3, 5, to the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. So the whole thing. And then he does this lick over the ninth chord, the C9. And that's what I'm hearing. Like this, starting on the 2nd fret of the 4th string to the 5th fret. Then three, five on the third string. Then three on the second string to the fifth fret of the third string. And then five, three on the second string, fifth fret of the uh, third string, winding up or ending up that lick on the third fret of the third string. So the whole thing. And it sounds to me like he's also muting this somehow with his right hand palm. And so that lick, he's just playing over that chord. That's a Charlie Christian type idea that you hear Pee Wee Creighton use in a number of his tunes. And then from there, he's going to do this. So he's going to go to the sixth fret of the first string. First string. 3rd fret of the 1st string, 3rd fret of the 2nd string. 5th fret of the 3rd string, 3-4 on the 3rd string, 3rd fret of the 2nd string. And he's going to go right into, the, into this. Sounds like he's getting a little scrape. Both the 1st and 2nd strings, the 3rd fret. And then 6-5 three on the second string. And he winds up with something like that. And this, bending up just a little bit on the third fret of the third string. And he does that twice. of the third string and the fifth fret of the fourth string. So that whole last part. And that is what I'm hearing in the, the second verse of the song. So let's try to play that one all the way through slowly. So now we've got the introduction, the chord intro, first two boogie verses, and then we've got the two, first two solo verses. <laughs> 